guys, uh, Boston Miniatures here in Sun, and we're going to paint a great wall today, right? Yep. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. So we need to figure it out the color we're going to do this thing, right? What color do you want? Oh, for the skin I'm going to do like brown here. Yep. So be because in like my left is I always see like brown. All right, and so that brown. Monster. Brown works for worms because worms are brown. Brown. All and right. Pink, but I'm not going to paint. All right, all right. I like the paint too. That cool actually give like maybe two colors, like a color on the top and a color on the belly side, right? Yeah, but but then that would just look like a pig worm in a pig. Pig. That's okay. Maybe they like pigs. Right? Okay then. <laughs> okay then. So, brown? Is okay. brown okay? Yes. Alright, so that's a good brown. Mm -hmm. So, this is yeah, Valero good. 38. Yeah. Come medium brown. Come over. And what else? Um, we're going for the. Which other color for the, the belly? The Betty, where's the Betty? The belly. I don't know if there were bellies are for monsters. Like that will be the inside thing or the, oh, more the belly. The belly for right here will yeah. be brown? And a different brown? Yeah, or same brown? A light brown. A light brown. Alright, so we can maybe pick this guy. It's a pretty good color. Yeah. It's called sand yellow. Ooh. Right, so we'll put some sand yellow, and then what? This guy maybe, maybe even lighter shade. This is a home yeah. color. That Butter looks like your skin color. Buttermilk, right? It looks like. Milk. <clears throat> you know, then milk. we'll do. Uh, it looks like it has a few specks here. Yeah. Want to do some contrast on the specks? Yeah, we um, have to. How green, about we maybe? Do, how about black and green? Black and green. Like green some spot. some specks are like black, and some specks are like. Green. All right, so we'll do a few washes and we'll use a dark tone and we'll give it a try with some uh, ink. Green. All right, how about the mouth? What's calling for the mouth? It has the a big mouth, mouth here. The mouth is going to be pink, but not on the teeth. This okay, teeth. so for pink, we can use two colors. We can use how do yeah. you make pink? Red? Red and white. Red and white, that's right. Red and Ooh, white. But this is good. This is good. Red this looks white. like pink. This totally looks like pink. See? See? Alright, we'll put it here. It's a red color. And it scarlet like, red. It looks like the red skull. Alright, so let's push the paint. It looks like the red skull's face. Red skull face. Yes. All right, so let's do it. First, we'll need to clean up the brush. So what we did already is we primed this miniature black. We went with the gray um, we OSL, did, we did right? Paint, we did a gray. We did paint And then we did another time. one from the top, white. Yeah, but we did not paint that in a long time. No, it took us, what, less than a minute. Yeah, we didn't paint it like days ago. No, we just did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's that's true. We better better say what we did. How we did it. it years ago when we had it years ago. All right. Cool water. All right. So we're gonna we need some uh, paper towel. Okay. First, I need to get a drink. All right. Sounds good. Okay. I'm still we're back after a glass of water and. Now we're gonna put some black. No, what was it? Black? No, brown. Yeah, brown. Brown. Alright, let's put some brown. A few drops of the uh, medium brown. Alright, and in the, you're gonna do it? Yeah. Alright, let's okay. hold it. Okay. Hold the thing. Brown. Okay. Oh, like a pen. Yep. That's right. Right now. 
Now we gotta incline it and spray it. And pull a little bit on the trigger. And we'll start to do some uh, Just a little bit more. There you go. Doing it on the belly. Wait, is this the dark brown or light? This is the dark brown. So mostly we want to hit it from under, not too much from the top. That's right. The bottom to the top. All right. Looks like you've done a pretty good job there. I will put my do not lie. I'm gonna go. I really like that song. All right. Next, we're gonna do the San Diego. some sand yellow so look at where you're gonna spray this is like a where does this warm leaves what do you think it will be all right so you ready yeah hold it and pull. Okay, now I know. It's a big enough miniature for little kids to practice some hair brushing. Right? Yeah. Alright, I think that was good. Yep. Yeah, a few more dabs good. here. Oh, Alright, now we've done this. Why is this even here, this thing? This duct tape that's broken. Alright, we want to give it a little bit of color, right? There, duct tape is broken already. Yeah. Okay. So, which other color do we have to do next? A little bit of pink, we said? Yup, in the max. Right. Not on the teeth. Alright, so we'll, teeth. we'll do this part with the brush. Yeah, here. But I think the underbelly, right? The underbelly needs some color. Yeah. Alright, so we'll take a little bit of red. Is there going to be any blood? Cool. Oh, one drop. One <laughs> drop. Even that looks so cool. Right? One little drop. And then. Alright. Are we going to do the inside of the mouth? Pink. See, we, we're not putting a lot of pink. It's just enough so that it sends it. It is kind of like an underbelly. How's that? Good. Just good. Right? Right there. I remember this guy from a long time ago. Okay, so wanna maybe do some pink around the mouth? Oh. Yeah. All right, we're back, and next we're gonna take the gray. All right, the medium C gray. And then we are going to put a few dabs. That's a color I use for all the Dungeon Saga bases. Yep. Right? Yeah. Are you ready to do it? Yeah. All we're going to do is hit the rocks, right? You're okay. going to be really gentle with it. Put your hands over What happens for the teeth? Put your hand on mine. And we'll try not to 
with anything but the wrong. I wish we could see air. Yeah. Except there is no fog or special fog. I think it's air. Okay, so we need to go around a couple of times to cover this, right? Yeah. That could be a really big box, right? If you have to to battle it. Yeah. And I feel like I'm dodging saga. You wanna play dodging saga after that? Huh? And take some weight? Now we'll try to get in. And she goes slowly. Alright, so I'll do this part, Nikki. Scary, right? It's scary and cool at the same like time. Mm -hmm. It's like a sea monster, like from. Oh, it's really tricky because. It's like make a sure. Yeah. It's very pointy. Yeah, it looks like the sea monster from. Wait, oh yes. <laughs> Oh, you want oh, Percy Jackson? Jackson? Yeah, and there's like this. It's like that. One of those. those, that, those. that one thing looks like one of those sea monsters that's so ginormous that it's hard to Yep. Yep. And then there's one in there. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's just gross. Alright, so we are pretty close to be done with those teeth now. some dry brushing, wiping on paper towel. Mom, I'm going and to find Daisy. She might be out front, Boo Boo. She might be out front. I know. I know. Give it a white dry brush. Two sisters, two dogs. She goes, I have four sisters. I'm the only boy in the family. I'm the youngest boy in the family. Without any brothers, you're the only brother. You are. You're a good brother, Nikki. I know. Alright, so Nikki, what I'm doing here is I'm taking some paint, drying it. I wipe it off the paper and just go back and forth. Back and forth. Okay. And um, what happens is only a little bit of paint will go on the top part. Mommy, can I play on it? I don't know. What, baby? 
Look, that's the way that she used that song. Yeah, she used that song. She's better than you. She's a tornado. <laughs> she like sings like that. Really? Yeah, she remember she sings like for you, what's it gonna do? No, I don't remember that part. It's right. a tornado. Remember that part? Yeah, I kind of. Yeah, I hate that part. Really? So we're back. We've done a lot of work here. Right? Yep. Do we need to do anything else? I think so. Like what? In the ends. Like, like, it's kind of, it's always, Leave it here. it's see. always dark. Inside the mouth, like in the cracks. Make it darker? Yes, so we need to make All right. it darker. Alright, so we're gonna do it in two steps. Like so black? First step, yep, we'll, we'll put some black. There's your black. Right. Before we do the black, we'll do the soft tone. Hello, right. guys, we're back. And we are back indeed. Yeah, because we're waiting for this to dry, yeah. Yep, so it's dry. We we'll put a coat. A varnish? Yeah. Right? Yep. Yeah. So, what do you think about this? No, little pebbles here. Should we call them a different color or leave them like that? We should, yeah, we should leave them like that. That looks much good. Mm -hmm. yeah. It looks good. Nice. No green? Yeah, and black. It looks yeah. really good. Alright, <laughs> so, what are we gonna do now? I think that's it. You need to put the wash, right? Oh yeah. The wash of what? Yes. So yeah. we're gonna put some some of that um, brownish color. Yeah. Is that light? Yeah, yes. it's wet. Yeah, so it's we pretty liquidy, right? So we can so, we're gonna so we can fill in the cracks. Put in the cracks. And I guess that's how you fill the cracks. Yeah. Yeah, can you put on a few more? That's. Whoop, 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 whoop. So shake it. You wanna shake it? Okay. Alright. What's that making that sound? So I put a. A steel ball in there. Why? So it shakes the paint. Well, oh, so it pushes the paint. Not pushes, but shakes it. So sometimes the paint is not mixed up. It helps mixing it up. Yep. Alright. So you're gonna go and just go all over the miniature like this. Okay. Right? All over. Alright, you do that? Okay. Crystal gems. I really like that song. In the show. Can you do it? Or continue where I put it. Yeah. Yeah, Yep. Take a lot of things. Smear it like that. Go and blob it. What's that sound? I don't know what it is. Take more paint. Okay. I can't believe I did this. First time painting with my dad. Very good painting. Well, it's not the first time we did a few. Yeah, really good. This is the first time you're doing it really good. Hmm. Yeah, 
Yeah, we got some here. Yeah, yeah. There you go. It's good. It's me, right? Yeah. It's me everywhere. And there on the side. It's good. How about in the mouth? Mm. Well, we'll do the middle of the mouth with something else. I'll do it in the back. Okay, good. That's it. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Good. Mm. Good. 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 Be right there. Man. All right. While uh, the warm sets, I'll give it a quick highlight. Two places. Alright, so this is some brown milk and it makes it a little white.
I'll just touch a little bit on the surface. I'm going to have a quick dry brush here. And that's all I need, a little bit of contrast. Shaky here because I'm not in my most comfortable position. <laughs> oh no. I don't need to go all over the miniature, but the most critical areas. White, let's take the pure white. So it gets into those uh, That's it, so we have contrast, some uh, highlight. Alright, we're back. And um, now we're gonna do actually a little bit of dark painting, just so we get some contrast. This is my backdrop, lovely, right? Piece of paper. Do this in a budget. Some dark wash. Can you pick up, Lauren? Okay, we're back, and uh, the wash is setting. 
and I'm um, just gonna have to touch up a little bit back to some highlights a few places keeping in mind that the light comes from the top There you can see the effect very subtle next we'll put some uh, Reading. Okay, let's stick the red. I'm using a painter. A little bit of red primer. Oh, I'll show the palette. Get to red, which is a little brighter than the uh, What I'll do is we'll transition that red on a little bit of purple blue. All the way to this part here. Some contrast in this mouth. What I'll do is um, we'll dry it, take some water, and use the water to gradient the colors. Yes, progressive gradient color. There you go. And from there, let's take our blue. And then we'll uh, put some red ink, turn it as a purple. to be uniform real quickly alright and give it some of that shading so we get some view of sand purple warm 
Uh, you feel free to use more blue in few sections. Others. And um, I am right now contrasting with some blue here. I'm coming back with purple. Remember, it's inking with your fingers. There's too much. Okay, this one seems to have like some extra growth on the side. Let's just emphasize. These parts. Some blue with some green and red. You can see you directly into the warm. Some blue here. Some blue. We'll do the same thing right here. So we'll do it. No, it's not gonna be super visible. It's there. Subtle changes. All changes. I'm gonna take our purple, red, and blue mix, get over the mouth. We use this as a really deep contrast agent. Again, this step is optional. But I think it does add quite a bit of interest to the, the colors. Not just being brown, but getting some red, getting some blue. Should go some hard work. Uh, so to so to you. You guys like it? This is uh, it's in red on the tip. Optionally, we will get blood for the god plus paint to give this mouth uh, more bloody. Here is something that can be played right away. Okay, I think we're done. We'll uh, put it down. See if we want to add a few more things to it. But this is a project that can be started with kids easily. Reaper me, bones, very cheap. And. Um, I think it's a great dungeon Sega miniature here. Alright guys, happy painting.
and um, good luck on your project. Cheers.